Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Ghetto Bandit, aka Ghetto Bandit Records, or aka Ghetto Bandit Recordings. I use both names. So, right here is a song that I recorded and mixed down for a customer. It's a trap song, you know, trap music. Not saying that it's bad. It's going somewhere, but I don't know. To each his own. And um, in this song, I'm going to show you what plugins that I used in this song when I mixed this song. The audio on this song is okay. I'm going to say it's okay like that in that perspective because of the way I went about it. I went about it in a wrong manner. I used my my uh, my DBX noise gate and I used too much of it. Plus, I was being rushed into doing this song because, you know, he's a young guy. He don't know really he don't really know too much about music and he wanted to impress his friends with a new song that he did. He never recorded in a recording studio setting before, so he don't have no knowledge of it. I was trying to, you know, bring him up to speed on how this recording thing goes, what's the parameter, what what I have to use in the in the process of this. I had to do a, a pseudo style mixing, meaning that it's mastered choply, poorly, you know, it's not to the to the radio ready standards. I put it in that perspective. And when I was trying to like edit out pieces and like, you know, clean it up a little bit, he was on a time restraint and he needed the song that day. So without any further ado, I'm gonna let you hear it from start to finish. And show you the plugins and everything else. Oh, my kitty. I don't know if you see my cat, but I got a huge I got a huge cat that looks like Garfield. Anyway, without any further ado, I give you what's this song? R Y R R Y G. I believe this is the name of the song or this is the name of the uh, I don't So, here we go. Oh, yeah, by the way, like and subscribe to my channel. Um, You will get updates when I post and new videos that I post and whatever I post. Because not only this channel is for music, it's for other things, too. I do a lot of other things as well. So, this is like not only my music, it's everything I do. Um, I put a, a barcode up there. If you want to support the channel, you go, go right here to this barcode right here. Um, scan it with your phone and you go donate to the channel. You know, that'll help me get lighting equipment, green screens, microphones, etc., etc., to make things look and go a lot better than what it is now. So without any further ado, here is the song. Let me mute the sound so I won't be no sound bleed. Sorry, let me start over because when I hit the space bar over here, it disengaged the microphone. So let me start over. See, I think we got one. Wow, I hear you.
If you hate on my niggas, you hate on my pumps. Niggas don't tell me you win something more. If you call me a fool, I might show you your school. If you think you're cool, then come hang with the goons. It's an issue if you told them to do it. Politicians at the moment, no quotes. Superficial, like it went all on you. I got visuals, I don't want no clue. I got the best of the best of my friends. When they see me, they think I'm a pull a test. I'm running through pictures and zen and the in my hand, and I know I am not the first. And the streets, they be calling them, and then you know she a whole or slot, and I'm not impressed. I'm cutting that nigga, he cutting the cigarette, picture, he run and go call the fest. Cooling off jets, I'm cool with off sets. Ain't no way for niggas, we riding the crew. Only thing I got visual, they ain't something new. Seeing the future and passing, a nigga go tell me he ain't learned something new. Only my visions and big one, the only thing I think a nigga could ever do. I'm off in the streets while a nigga will kill a nigga for a dollar to overfresh. I'm praying for stuff for my niggas that's blind, but they think they gon' run me to overpress. I ain't using no shit that a nigga don't use in a minute or more than another year. I'm not doing no bitch, I don't fuck the nigga in a month or I think in another year. Bang those, I said ten toes, I ain't got hoes. I'ma get more shows, and the bitch gon' be playing me like I'm a stupid ass nigga that come from another fret, and the bitch gon' be playing me like I'm a bitch ass nigga that go fuck for another set. I got, I got a bitch, she a baddie, she know what to do when I come from another bet. I ain't doing tricks, so I'm taking your bitch, and you know it's litty and other fet. If you come in my gang, I'ma shoot. Don't gon' play me off for some loot. I'm a 20 to shoot from the boot. I'm a nigga that calling the crew. Yeah, if you hating my niggas, you hating my pumps. Nigga, don't tell me you ain't something more. If you call me a fool, I'm not you school. If you think you a fool, then come hang with the goons. It's an issue if you talking to do. Politicians, I don't want with no proof. Superficial, like it went all on do. I got visions, I don't want with no food. I'm come straight, niggas don't play, and I don't play. Talk to more days. I got niggas that shoot you for nothing. I know niggas that kill you for nothing. Popping the pills in or something. Taking medicine, me on something. Huh? I got with motherfucking Plagos, niggas come in with motherfucking Dracos, niggas kill me even if I say so. We warn you a block with the cradles, we warn you a block in the Plago, we stacking the brick like the Legos. Uh, uh. We stacking the big ass Legos. Cause a nigga don't run, or you will get shot. If you pick up your phone, or you calling the cops. If you run up at me, you run with the ops. Don't go shooting at me, or you will get shot. I'm rocking the bell and I got some. I'm fucking your bitch and you got none. I'm packing the 50. We can run in the jiffy. We got him a stiffy. I think I got stiffy. I'm running with stiffy. I run like a bitch. Run like a bitch. Uh. 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 Okay, that was this song from start to finish. From beginning to the end. So, that's the way it sounds. I mean, it sounds rushed, and it was rushed. You know, when you're dealing with these young artists that think they know it all about the music industry when they really don't, this is what you're going to encourage encounter you know i mean not saying that it's not a good song it's a good song it, it, some parts he messed up and then when i was to asking him to record it over he didn't want to so you know this is what you're going to run into when you're dealing with studio work sometimes you know you're going to run into people that's very unprofessional and don't get me wrong i don't really rock with auto tune like that i'm not too good with it you know i'm old school so that auto tune thing i didn't really quite grasp that yet but i'm working on it and i'm going to have it down packed pretty soon i'm about to buy the bundle that i think is 24 dollars a month and you can use like all their plugins because i'm not if i'm not mistaken it used to be untourist auto tune 
but I guess Antara sold the company to somebody else or something, and now the new owners of it is selling them as a bundle. You could buy them to keep, or you could rent them. So I'm gonna wind up renting these these plugins and try my hand at them. You know, I already know how to you know sign assign the 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 two track to the grid. So you know. And use a click track for that, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I know how to do all of that now. You know, it took me some time because I, I came, I, like I said before, I came fresh off of doing this on real to real, you know, on a on a eight track recorder, you know. Had to do what I had to do on that, you know. And jumping into doing this on a computer was a little bit more complicated. It's it's not hard, but it's you know, it was a little complicated. So I'm getting there, you know, the music is starting to get better. As I go along, I learn more, you know. So without any further ado, let me show you the plugins that I used in this. Um, sorry about that, guys. Okay. Yes, I had to use a lot of plugins with his voice. So starting off with the first plugin that I used, and I had to do a lot. A EQ and with that beat too, cause the beat was like super loud. So I had to, you know, try to like bring it down. So with the EQ, um, where is the EQ? Okay, it's it's on another screen. Sorry about that. This is what I had to do in his vocals. I, whatever you see here is what I had to do. I don't know the technical terminology for this. I just do it until my liking, until it sounds good. And that's it. <laughs> and uh, for the compressor, I uh, gave it a little bit of gain, you know, a little bit of makeup gain. And I, and I used this much compression in his vocals. The thing I, 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 I love about and I hate about a Neumann microphone, sometimes this microphone uh, tends to be a little on the bassy side. I don't know if anybody record, like noticed that, but it's a really good microphone. This is what it looks like. This is a Neumann TLM uh, 102 microphone. It's on the a, on a bassy side, so you have to use a lot of like... EQ to like go in the, in the bassy areas and pull out a lot of the bass in this microphone. It's a wonderful microphone. What I like about this microphone is, not to get off topic, what I like about this microphone is that you can be as loud as you want and it won't distort. What That's what I like about this microphone. It's very good when it comes down to loud vocals. It's a very good microphone because if I try that on, on on my my AKG Perception 220, it'll sound blown out. Like it'll sound. When I mean by blown out, if you go up to a microphone and you yell in front of it and make that that it sound blown. This is a good microphone for beginners. The AKG Perception 220 and the Blue Spark. I have the Blue Spark down there, but it's all the way down there. This is a good mic for beginners. I had this mic for like 20 years, to be honest with you. I bought this mic back in um, 2001 or something like that. 19 years, 20, something like that. Not 2001, like, yeah, 2001, like 19, 20, something like that. I'm, I'm not too sure, but it was a while ago that I, I purchased this. And that was... Not my first microphone, I correct that. It's my second microphone. My first microphone was an MXL. I forgot the number. It's an MXL and it was all black. That was my first microphone. I did a lot of music with that microphone. You know, until, you know, I had a, a unfortunate situation that happened, you know, trying to help out everybody in the neighborhood. Yeah, I gotta fix that problem. You know, and 
it was a gentleman. I'm not going to say no names. I was trying to help him, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, he came with his boys when I wasn't there, when I, I was at work, and they, you know, broke in my house and took all my studio gear, you know. I had a, um, I had a, a, a SSL. I forgot the name of the number of this, this boy. It was, it was gray and black. It was an SSL um, mixer. And at the time, I was running Pro Tools, Pro Tools 7 LE at the time. It came with it. I bought it at Sam Ash. I spent like over over $3,000 for this board, over three, four thousand, $4,000, something like that. It was, And I bought like all the outboard gear. I had like the Avalon and I. You know, I had the uh, distressor, all of this gear I had bought at this time. And you could tell it was an inside job. They came. The only thing they didn't take was my monitors. I guess the monitors was crap. They didn't they didn't like them. So they didn't take that, but they took the board. They took the outboard gear and all my microphones. I had some nice microphones. I had some, I had the uh, Neumann U87. I had a Neumann TLL 103. I had a I had a I had a mean collection of microphones and all that stuff got stolen. Oh I luckily I had gotten an insurance on a lot of this stuff when I went to Sam Ash when I purchased this stuff I, I made sure I dropped insurance on it. So a lot of that stuff popped up in a lot of these um these what they call that pawn shops in, in the neighborhood. But the 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 lawyer told me don't go to the pawn shop and get any of it back. They sent a, a letter out to the pawn shop, you know, to come to court because they was buying stolen merchandise or whatever. They refused. FBI got involved. They got arrested. I I got all my, my money back for everything. It took me up to five years, you guys, to get all of that money back because they had to do a lot of investigation and paperwork and all this stuff. So I got back over $50,000 even though it was close to like 60, but you know, you're not going to get that much money back. You know, you know how that go. I got close enough. So I bought this board right here, which is the, um, I paid like when this board first came out, I paid like 2000 for it. It's the M audio project. Make now I just bought like $500 on eBay to be honest with you. It's a very good board, very good board for beginners and for pro. The the um M Audio Project Mix I O it works for Windows Ten perfect got no complaints with that it works with with um with Max Pro Tools Logic um um Studio One you name it 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 works with everything so you can't complain with a board like this. And you know, I bought the audio station V2 for the um talk back system, you know. Can't go wrong with that, you know. I bought Pro Tools 10 for it. Well, I, that was later on, but you know, as I had to go to um an uh, uh, audio school to learn how to do all of this, you know, and you know, I'm sorry I'm just sitting here rambling, but, you know, just letting you know, you know, my life story, what happened with me, and I had to start all over. Um, Where is the, okay, it's, so this is the, this is the DSR that I'm using on this, on this, on these vocals here. Um, I put a little bit of uh, a high pass, you know, a, a little EQ high pass frequency to just to boost it just a little bit because it was like kind of bassy, you know, like I was saying earlier, that Neumann microphones, well, this particular one, I don't know about all of them. I know the U87, the, the U76, the one that I had, wasn't that bassy as this one. This one is a little bassy. And uh, I had to, you know, make up, or what I took out and bring, you know, a little bit of high, you know, frequency in there. And I had used another 
type of um I had to use another gate on this on this plug on these that's that's probably why it sound the way it does because I used another gate. I might wind up taking that noise gate off. That's probably the 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 culprit that's what's causing that that problem that I'm having. It could be that I might mute this one and then listen to it over when I get off of here. But you know, he already got the track, so it don't really matter now. You know, he already got it. He playing in his car, whatever, whatever. So you know. And I put another EQ on there, you know, just to take out a little bit more what I was that was lacking in certain areas. And that's pretty much the song, you know. That's pretty much everything up in in my vocal chain that I used. And that, like I said, I had to use a little pseudo mastering, you know, pseudo mastering, you know, with the Maximus, you know, to smooth it out, you know. Had to like take out a little bit in this area because you know the the bassiness that's just with this microphone, and then I had to add a little bit more b q because you know once you take out bass, you know it get a little mid rangey so you have to like you know fix that area, you know, and that's pretty much everything in my doll right here that i'm that I use for this vocal, so uh. Like and subscribe to my channel. And I might post another video today. So if you see me with the same shirt on, that means I, I did another video. <laughs> I want to get much as videos out there to gain more, you know, people to come to my channel and look at what I'm doing. And, you know, I accept criticism, you know, people, you know, going to, you know, professionals going to tell me that I'm doing something wrong. I always get it all the time. And, you know, I don't get mad at it, you know, I just take it with a grain of salt and then I, you know, listen to what they're saying and then follow what they're doing and see if it works for me, you know. I mean, it's nothing wrong with, like, listening to what a person that have, you know, experience is telling me, you know. I don't sit there and be like, ah, oh, you're wrong, you don't know what you're talking about, shut up. You know, I don't do all that, you know. <laughs> so... Like and subscribe to my channel. Um, you can shoot me a a donation, any amount doesn't matter. You know, to support the channel, it'll be gladly appreciated. Thank you for watching my channel, and I'm out. <laughs>